Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. The fall and fall of Namdekanu. The fall and fall of Namdekanu. To my dear listeners, from wherever you are listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. If his Jewish priest or Dibia had told the leader of the indigenous people of the Afra, Haifa, Unamde Kanu, a few weeks ago, that by the end of June, he will be cooling off in a Department of State Services DSS facility, I am sure he would have rained invectives on them. When I had the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami, had announced the capture of Unam de Kanu, I thought it was fake news. Kanu arrested the demigod and the clown chief of the Republic. It must definitely be fake news. Then some minutes later, some major TV stations confirmed the news and started running the story. Even at that, some people were still doubting the story. The government released pictures of Namdekano wearing designers and handcuffs. Some clowns started saying the picture must be photoshopped. Unamdi Kanu cannot be arrested by the zoo Nigerian authorities. Let's go down memory lane. Prior to 2015, I don't think I'd ever heard of the name Unamdi Kanu. He was an unknown rabble rouser. However, the federal government brought him to the limelight by arresting him. I think arresting him was an own goal. Personally, I think the government should have ignored him and by now, he would have fizzled out. The government made him a celebrity overnight and gave him some godlike status among those who still believed in the Biafra dream. Pointedly, there are many people in the Southeast who dream of a Biafra but those support Unamdekano's method in achieving that dream. But when he was arrested, he gained more sympathizers. It became a we versus us thing. He was granted bill. As a political solution to bring down the thermometer in the southeast. However, Unamdi Kanu flouted all his build conditions and he was doing it in your face, kind of way to the federal government. His home in Abia became a mecca of salt. Subsequently, he jumped the bill and was quiet for months. Then he suddenly appeared from his sabbatical and resumed his inciting and hate-filled messages against the Nigerian state. Sadly, also, policemen and formations became a target in the Southeast. The era of unknown gunmen in the Southeast started. Not less than 30 policemen have been killed in the southeast recently. I also see it as, as a main argument that why did the government arrest Unam de Kanu while we have scores of bandits roaming the streets? I think this line of argument is totally unfair to our brave armed forces who have been battling with a sergeant and bandit. You don't expect them to end or arrest all sponsors of bandit and a sergeant in one day. Granted, 
the abad element among colluding with the bandit, but the whole institution of the military should not be tarred with the same brush. If not for the exploit of the military in the northeast, maybe by now we would have lost the region and be paying homage now to Abu Bakr Shekau's caliphate. I think the trial of Namdekanu should be followed to its logical conclusion. The government should do all within its powers not to allow anything to happen to Kanu while in custody. Nigeria is yet to recover from the killing of Boko Haram leader Muhammad Yusuf. Similarly, other troublemakers across the country should be picked by the security agencies. All legitimate aspirations or agitations should follow the rule of law. Violent agitations should be discouraged by all world meaning Nigerians. If his Jewish priest or Dibla had told the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hype Up, the Kano a few weeks ago that by the end of June he will be cooling off in a Department of State Services DSS facility. I am sure it would have rained invectives on them. When I had the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami, had announced the capture of Unamdekanu. I thought it was fake news. Kanu arrested. The demigod and the clown chief of the republic, it must definitely be fake news. Then some minutes later, some major TV stations confirmed the news and started running the story. Even at that, some people were still doubting the story. The government released pictures of Namdekanu wearing the signers and handcuffs. Some clowns started saying the pictures must be photoshopped. Namdekanu cannot be arrested by the zoo Nigerian authorities. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.